Hello and welcome to a video about sleep disturbances and Ehlers-Danlos syndromes. My last video was about fatigue. A lot of similar issues will be discussed. Fatigue and sleep disturbances go hand in hand. I'll try to focus more on the sleep issues themselves. If you want to know more about fatigue, just watch the last video. Anyway, with EDS comes chronic pain and many comorbid conditions that can cause sleep disturbances. Conditions such as sleep disordered breathing, SDB, and obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, occur in higher rates in people with EDS than in the general population. SDB and OSA patients do respond well to continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP. Periodic limb movement disorder, or PLMD, is also an issue many with EDS face. Restless leg syndrome is another one. Even without SDB, OSA, or PLMD, it is common to have arousals and awakenings during the night that interfere with the sleep cycle. These may be caused by a number of issues, but not limited to pain, joint subluxations, bladder and bowel issues, anxiety, and insomnia. With these disruptions, even after eight hours of being in bed, an EDSS with these disruptions, even after eight hours of being in bed, an EDSer may not feel rested. Chronic fatigue also causes sleep disturbances, comorbid conditions such as dysautomnia, MCAS, HD, and more can have an effect on sleep patterns. Medications taken for comorbid conditions can also impact sleep. Basically, people with EDS just tend to get poor sleep. There are some things that can be done to manage sleep problems. Good diet, exercise, day pacing, and avoiding large meals and a caffeine at night can help. Good sleep hygiene is also important, as is avoiding screen time. Like an hour or two before bed, it just kind of depends on the individual when it should start being avoided. A comfortable sleeping environment can help a lot. Ever notice how you get better sleep in your own bed than on the couch? There are breathing techniques and meditations that may be of some assistance. It is important to find out what is causing your sleep issues and target that. But general changes such as better diet, exercise, and sleep hygiene will still be helpful for many. Once you find out if the issue is pain, OSA, or something else, or both, or more, you can build a strategy with yourself or with your care team to minimize issues and to manage care. If you made it this far, like the video. For more EDS content, subscribe and watch my EDS playlist. Next video, I'll provide an overview of heart issues and EDS, so stay tuned.